Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, make people into vampires. Um, since the Twilight series is so popular, I thought I'd uh, give you this. We may go into a couple of this, a couple of these videos for this, but um, from a we're going to hit this from a photography pers perspective as well as a Photoshop perspective. What makes uh, these vampire pictures work and how we break them down uh, is very interesting. Um, from a photography perspective, you'll notice the lighting on this on this shot. Uh, we've got uh, light coming in from probably top right down. Notice the shadow goes down in that direction. Um, but we've also got a, a backlight to give some rim lighting to his shoulders. Um, we've also got uh, not a lot of wispiness in the hair. Uh, this shot was probably really difficult to Photoshop because of the wisps in his hair. He took the shot left, no big deal. Um, as far as the, f so when we look for a photo to do this, we want to look for that kind of dramatic, really soft lighting from the upper right, uh, and then sort of a rim light uh, around the back uh, or the sides. Uh, so uh, from that perspective of photography, that's what we'd want to do. It's basically a headshot shot from about the chest or or uh, upper stomach up. Uh, the next thing you want to look at is is how we break this image down. You'll notice we have really soft skin, number one, uh, and the skin tones are also desaturated. And the eyes have that, um, what's now kind of known as that vampire glow, a really yellowish. Uh, very few people actually have that. The lips are red. And then the eyes look kind of tired, almost zombie-ish. Um, other than that, it's a, it's a normal photo. Uh, and then in the background, we have a uh, superimposed background. So they probably shot this on a green screen, a blue screen, or, or gray or white. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Those are our steps. What we're going to do is we're going to find a photo, which I've taken care of for you, uh, that we're going to manipulate. Uh, we need to um, desaturate the skin, give it some contrast, smooth the skin, and then we need to uh, add the vampire eyes and then add a background. So here we go. So this is Edward, and what we're going to do is we're going to do Emma Watson. Uh, the reason I picked this is because of the light. Uh, we don't have the back rim line, but we have that really soft light, and her skin is pretty smooth. Somebody's already photoshopped this up. Also, her hair is pretty tight around her head, so we really don't have to do a lot of editing. We may lose um, uh, some detail of these wisps of hair in this area, uh, or right here, or even right here, but that's not such a big deal. So let's get started on, um, first let's just start and give ourselves the coloring and context of the picture that we want. Uh, we're going to desaturate it. We're going to uh, bump up the contrast. Uh, and we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this layer, control J, turn off that background just so we have something to go back to. Second step, uh, we're going to uh, select her skin. We want that skin to be kind of a grayish, a dead look. Um, she's got beautiful skin, but we want it. We want it grayer. So how do we do that? First we thing we do is we do a selection mask, which is over here, or a quick mask, um, and then we choose the brush tool, and we're going to bump up the size uh, so that we can get good swatches of her skin, and not really worry about it. So all this does is place a, a reddish uh, color. You're not um, you're not destroying the image at all. All you're doing is is putting a you're painting where you want a mask to go. Um, clothes that are black generally tend to do better because they desaturate into um, black or gray. And we're gonna get around here. Now remember we're gonna delete the background so we want to get make sure that the skin is covered. You know, we're not so uh, as concerned with um, with the gray background. And the reason I chose gray is because it's it's fairly easy to to get rid of. So we've almost got all of her skin selected. And I'm going to even select her eyes, even though in the finished product 
I don't want her eyes. I want that beautiful brown uh, color. Now I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to erase anything else around the edges that I you know, really don't need. Um, going to try to be really careful. As you'll hang on a second, I'll finish this up and we'll continue. Okay, so I've got uh, Emma uh, quick masked off. Um, you'll notice that around her eyes that I took those out and we got some detail out around her, her dress. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the quick mask off and you'll notice it selects what we painted. So this is what's confusing and I never can quite remember. We're going to do invert that selection, so do a control shift I and that selects her. Now what we'll do at this point is uh, we will go to our um, insert a uh, adjustment layer. We're going to do a hue and saturation. Remember, we have to desaturate her first. So you'll notice it adds a mask. The white is what's revealed, black is concealed. And we're going to bump down the saturation. Notice that everything that I s had selected is now gray. So we almost have it there. She's kind of elvish there, but we don't want that much. We want a little skin tone, but not a lot. But notice that her eyes, we kept her eyes uh, the way they were. We can also edit this mask. And what we need to do right now is actually click on that mask, go to our paintbrush tool, and we want to conceal any place that we see. Oops, man, I got it backwards. Um, conceal anything where we see her skin uh, as a tone, any skin tones. There we go. And we're gonna leave, we wanna leave her eyes, but see around her neck and her chin we missed. We missed a little bit around her ear. We, we wanna leave that, that uh, brown on her eyes. And around her eyes. Okay, just a quick look and we look okay. Okay, step two, uh, it's really pretty simple. We're going to add, um, touch a little here about her face and her chin maybe. Step two is pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, use the same selection that we just got because that's really good. It's just all of her skin. So we're going to right click on the mask itself and choose add mask to selection. So basically that says, okay, select everything we've masked off. Now we're going to add another um, correction layer and it's going to be brightness contrast. We want to we make this very contrasty. Which means there's a it's you know lots of difference between uh, lights and darks. Right, even bump down the brightness just a little bit. You can kind of tell we're getting getting what we want from what we're doing. Okay, great. We've we're really close. <laughs> we're getting there really quickly. Okay, so we we're gonna select that layer mask again. Okay, and we're going to invert that, so Control shift i So that's going to select everything else, um, but I don't want to do that. So Control d to turn it off. 